Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. Uh, very good evening to all of you. And today I came a little before my normal time. So I believe uh, some of you will come very soon. Until then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the words that I want to talk about today. So that will be, hi Ipsit, uh, how are you? Welcome to the session. And uh, so I was just doing my daily vocab dose and uh, yeah, Shuchi, hello, welcome to the class. Thank you for the feedback, Suchi. So, uh, so the first, uh, oh, I'm happy to see you, but the word that I am uh, doing today is morose. So, you know, that is contradictory to the word that I'm, uh, the mood that I am in after seeing all of you in the class and, uh, so uh, good to have you in the class, Ipsit, uh, Shuchi, and all the others. So morose is the first word for today. And morose basically means sad, mournful, in a bad mood. Bad, no, sad rather mood. So another word for it will be emotional. And there's a nice fancy word for it, maudlin. Maudlin is another word for it, which means morose, sad. Okay, then... Uh, Another nice little word for it is lacrimose. Okay, and there's this uh, uh, thing, lacrimose also means teary, you know, rone wala type, wala type, ka, type, ka, mood, type ka mood, a crying kind of a mood, you're in a lacrimose mood. And this comes from the word lacrimal. Now, the tear ducts that we have in our eyes that are called as lacrimal glands. So the word lacrimose actually comes from that. A lacrimal glance, so lacrimose. So, you know, sometimes in these uh, RC questions, as the tone of the passage, maudlin and lacrimose and all of these words keep coming and morose. So all of it means sad. And when you are being sad, jab aap dukh mana rahe ho, to then the word is mournful, which we did last time, bhi kiye the, if you remember. So no problem, Aditya, I just started two minutes back or so. So no worries. So uh, lacrimose, again, rone wala type ka feeling. Then maudlin, bad, sad mood. And morose is also very sad. And all of this, agar aap dukh mein ho, shok mana rahe ho to, you are in a mournful mood. <coughs> okay, but we are happy. So then happy, to opposite kya ho jayega? Blissful gleeful, ecstatic. Okay. Uh, hi, uh, Shivam and Arpit. Welcome. So blissful, gleeful, ecstatic, very happy. Huh? Glee is also happiness. And glee is more of a, you know, uh, informal word, whereas uh, uh, happy is the normal word that we use. Blissful, very, very happy. Now, happy ka bhi degree hota hai na. So extremely happy, blissful, like this is bliss. Ah, you went to say Kashmir or you went to Goa or you went to some nice little place that you like and you say, wow, this is life. So you are in a blissful mood. You're very happy. You got an I am call. So you're ecstatic. Ecstatic is uh, very, very happy. Bonnie is <coughs> beautiful. Beautiful woman is Bonnie and Bonnie child, healthy child, Shuchi. So that's how you would use the word. Okay, then, uh, yes, I'll come to your word also. Uh, so I'll, let me just quickly do. And now synonyms of the word sad word was depressing, unsocial, morose. We have already done that was the word. And joyful, positive, friendly. Now friendly se again word aa jata hai. Friendly ka word ho jata hai. Amiable and amicable. Dono ka matlab hota hai, very, very friendly. And they, these two are pure synonyms. Koi farak nahi hai isme. Jaysa ecstatic to bohat zyada happy tha. Blissful was very, very happy. Lekin ecstatic thoda zyada tha than the blissful. But amiable, amicable means friendly. And dono ka same meaning hai. Exactly the same. So you can interchange it like, you know, uh, to, to twin brothers. Okay, the word you were asking, 
uh, entertainment point what's your name your name is not entertainment point i would like a nice you know the nice name that you have all right so the word that you were asking was perseverance now to persevere perseverance comes from the word persevere which means to carry on something for a long period of time and being very very focused in your work so the gandhi ji's perseverance one the independence for india it was not a one day work your perseverance with vocabulary will help you have a great collection of words all right so that is how the word perseverance is used so you have to be perseverant in your efforts means you have to do conscious effort lot of effort for a very long period of time तो बहुत समय तक अगर हार्ड वर्क आप करते हो तो देन यू आर अ परसिवियरेंट पर्सन ओके एंड नो नो एक्टिक इज वेरी हैप्पी शुचि बॉनी इज ब्राइट चाइल्ड जैसे कोई बच्चा है उसके लाल लाल गाल हैं तो देन यू से ओ बॉनी लुकिंग चाइल्ड वो होगा बॉनी का मीनिंग ओके बॉनी इज नॉट बॉनी इज ऑब्वियसली एन इफ अ चाइल्ड इज नाइस हेल्दी हैप्पी तो उस सेंस में यूज होता है एक्सटैटिक बहुत खुशी एक्सटैटिक इज फॉर्मल बॉनी इज इनफॉर्मल एंड एक्सटैटिक ओल्ड एंड न्यू इंग्लिश में सेम है बॉनी ओल्ड इंग्लिश में इट वाज यूज फॉर अ प्रिटी वुमन ओके प्रिटी लेडी सो बॉनी लास वेरी प्रिटी वुमन सो देन यू वुड कॉल अ बॉनी लास ओके सो नेक्स्ट वर्ड फॉर यू इज नाइव एंड दिस इज अ गुड वर्ड Naive, naive नहीं बोलते हैं इसको नाइव बोलते हैं नाइव मीन समबडी हु वेरी इनोसेंट समबडी हु डज नॉट नो द वेज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सिंपल पर्सन इनोसेंट पर्सन इज अ नाइव पर्सन अच्छा ऑपोजिट यस राइट शाय नाइव पर्सन इज अ सिंपल पर्सन ऑपोजिट विल बी समबडी हुज वेरी कनिंग स्लाई वाइली ओके सो स्लाई वाइली एंड कनिंग आर योर antonyms of the word uh, naive hai na so naive will be artless candid candid is used as a synonym of naive but dekho candid is different candid is frank so candid is frank so yes sometimes a very simple person is also a very frank person wo kuch chupata nahi hai just says anything that comes to his mind many people don't like it so yes that is there and uh, so uh, uh okay yes uh, what are you asking uh, right so perseverance i told uh, right leery uh, prasik uh, leery is somebody who is uh, leching at somebody somebody who is making a pass at somebody somebody who is bad charactered and making a pass at something so leering and leery comes from there right that is different from cunning and arcane piyush arcane means old fashioned archaic arcane ancient these are all synonyms which means old fashioned and dexterous dexterous shuchi is skillful comes from the word dexterity dexterity is skill so dexterous is skillful okay <clears throat> they are totally different uh, somebody who is skillful might be very dexterous also somebody who is smart now the magician he is very cunning and magician can do a lot of tricks also so he is dexterous also he is skillful and he is cunning but zaruri nahi hai ki jo skillful ho wo cunning bhi ho ab maan lo aapka koi teacher hai bahut skillful hai but that person might be a nice person not a cunning person so her skill skillful means jo apna kaam bahut acche se kare full of skills so that is a positive word whereas cunning is a negative word so skillful dexterous is positive cunning is negative lekin kuch kuch acche log matlab jinko skills hai they can be cunning also so then that depends on the person okay so then uh, your naive ka synonym tha artless candid was frank so hamesha synonym nahi hai in some ways then um, genuine yeah genuine you are just as you are you know right on the face and opposite is cunning shrewd cynical and uh, things like that so tyro tyro is a beginner girish a beginner is a tyro uh, and so uh, sometimes yes tyro could be the same as naive not always tyro is a beginner a person who is starting to do something so nascent tyro 
green horn is another word which means tyro now since you brought up the word green horn is a person especially cricket mein use hota hai koi naya naya batsman aaya hai to usko bolte hain green horn and he might be a simple person also so see naive is a very simple person chhota bachcha naive hota hai na simple innocent wo hota hai naive and uh, beginner agar koi hai ab hum aur aap aaj cooking shuru ki hai to we are beginners in cooking right and uh, so we are tyros we are beginners and we are green horn means again beginner jo shuru shuru mein kaam shuru kare okay a fresher and uh, so <clears throat> like so many words i am not the dictionary but yes i will help you so inevitable inevitable jo hona hi hai so day and night are inevitable you cannot stop the day and night from happening you cannot uh, stop the time from changing that is inevitable so something which you cannot change you cannot stop from happening is inevitable your destiny is inevitable wo hoga hi jo hona hai wo hoga so that is inevitable something which cannot be stopped from happening is inevitable and vicious you are asking webber vicious is very mean very bad so kisi ko kisi se badla lena hai to he is vicious comes from the word wise wise is you know all the bad qualities that we have are the vices so jaise sab politicians ek dusre ke khilaf बहुत बुराई करते हैं सो दे आर वेरी विशियस टूवर्ड्स वन अनादर ऐसा नहीं है कि सभी खराब है माइट बी सम गुड पीपल इन दैम ऑल्सो सो एंड नो 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 यस अखिल यू कुड से दैट एंड ग्रीन हॉर्न इज अ फ्रेज यस गिरीश राइट सो डिसमल इज सैड अनहैपीनेस डिसमल मूड सो अगेन मोरोस डिसमल मूड होता है डिसमल मूड comes from the word dismay dismay is sadness d i s m a y dismay is sadness aur agar aap dukhi hain to aapka mood jo hai wo dismal ho jayega juxtapose is side by side juxtaposition side by side that is what it means okay bagal bagal mein ekdam pass pass bagal bagal mein hai to juxtapose our seats in the cinema hall were juxtaposed to each other means they were side by side okay so there is no formula sir i have been reading for a long time and i you know combine all my words i do mind mapping word mapping that is what i am teaching you also jitne words hain sabko link karna shuru kar do automatically your vocabulary will improve and start linking them to people faces images to yaad rehne lagega that's what that's what you'll have to do and practice and revision definitely that is the game एंड टाइम लगता है रोज रिवाइज करना पड़ता है और जितना रीड करोगे जितना नया वर्ड्स मिलेगा उसके बाद उसको एड अप करना शुरू करो माइंड में बस दैट इज द ट्रिक यू नो एंड इट टेक्स दो तीन महीने में पीपल इम्प्रूव आई हैव सीन इन माई बैचेस अभी भी बच्चे मतलब आई कैन टेक नेम्स सम ऑफ यू आर माई स्टूडेंट्स टू आर देर आई हैव सीन पीपल फ्रॉम माई बैचेज लास्ट थ्री मंथ्स में इतना इम्प्रूवमेंट हुआ जस्ट बाई डूइंग दिस एवरी डे आपको करना है दिस इज समथिंग ना दैट हैज टू बी डन एवरी डे एक दिन सौ वर्ड नहीं याद होता है पांच दस होता है बट रिवाइज कीप ऑन रिवाइजिंग मेमोराइजिंग फिर से करना है और उसको जितने वर्ड से लिंक कर सकते हो उतना करना है इट्स जस्ट दैट इट्स जस्ट लाइक यू नो द मोर यू कुक द बेटर यू बिकम कोई भी चीज प्रैक्टिस बुक फॉर वो क्या अब अब नॉर्मल लुइस लोग पढ़ते हैं आप भी पढ़ सकते हैं हमारी भी किताब है उसको भी आप पढ़ सकते हैं वी ए वर्बल एबिलिटी रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीशन फॉर कैट उसमें तीन वर्ड लिस्ट है हाई मीडियम लो फ्रीक्वेंसी दैट इज इनफ फॉर द कैट कैट के लिए अगर चाहिए तो दैट माय बुक इज इनफ इफ यू हैव इट नॉर्मल लुइस एंड ऑल एड ऑन आप उठा सकते हो बट जरूरी नहीं है इफ यू डू दोस थ्री वर्ड लिस्ट फ्रॉम द बुक दैट्स मोर देन इनफ इफ यू हैव द बुक दैट्स मोर देन इनफ अदरवाइज ऐसे तो बहुत सारी वो कैबरी की किताबें ऐसी आई मीन इट्स वॉट वी हैव डन इज की उसमें से जो इम्पोर्टेंट वर्ड है उसको निकाल के डाल दिए लिस्ट में तो उसी में से हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं आपसे all right so i will uh keep doing this and uh <laughs> thank you akhil and uh, so i i hope your little sister is fine and i remember tell her that i remember her right so i'll end the session i'll come back tomorrow again hopefully tomorrow i am in office till 9 o'clock ho sakta hai wahi se hum le lein class let's see <laughs> otherwise i'll come back maybe i'll come late so maybe not tomorrow but saturday sunday mostly i'll be there thank you and uh, yes revise please definitely aur jo abhi teen modules ho chuka hai 
और आज फोर्थ था सो वी हैव कवर्ड ऑलमोस्ट फोर्टी फिफ्टी वर्ड्स ऑलरेडी इन द फोर फाइव मॉड्यूल्स प्लीज रिवाइज दे ओके ओके बाय बाय टू खुशी फॉर मी ऑल्सो अखिल एंड बाय बाय गुड नाइट गॉड ब्लेस ऑल ऑफ यू एंड आई सी यू अगेन होपफुली टुमारो आई विल ट्राई टू डू इट डेली बाय बाय